And so that's something that I completely understand when you say like, you know, I live, I grew up with my mom and then there was also things she told me to that about him that made me even uh, dislike him more. Right. Mm -hmm. But then at some point for me, it was like, okay, so, and you mentioned this too, which is interesting because like at some point, same thing happened for me where I was like, okay, and this was more recent, like what's really going on, right? Like I hear that I heard this side of the story and this is what I experienced. So then I also want to experience this thing. Like I, I, I want to see what this is about. Was, was there ever like a thing where you're like, okay, let me hear this guy out? Yeah, I would say closer like to the end of high school. Mm -hmm. I would say around there is when we started like talking a little bit more and stuff like that about uh, like his relationship with my mom, all that kind of stuff. I mean, even to this day, like it hasn't gone like, super deep like he's shown me like oh no like I did try and be there for you like uh you know like how her family and stuff was like obviously like my dad like he's a Hispanic guy like Martinez and yeah my grandfather was never really a huge fan of him so my grandfather's kind of feed in my mom stuff and you know just not a very conducive environment it's it's also a, a culture thing too where with at least with um with the males is that it's like you know you don't really talk about uh, anything that you're feeling like emotions are uh, somehow a symbol of of, uh, of of weakness in some to some extent because the man is supposed to be the in like a lot of cultures right the man is supposed to be yeah. like the strong one and so that that can be difficult so there I imagine then there wasn't ever like a conversation where it's like hey this is how I feel not really a conversation like so much like very surface level like I think, like, the only, like, defining moment where we kind of, like, understood each other was probably, like, my junior year of high school or something like that. Like, my dad was, like, my dad was angry about something, like, clearly other than, like, yeah. the lawn not getting mowed or something like that. And he was, like, yelling at me, like, get out there and mow the f lawn, like, yada, yada, yada. And I'm out there doing it, and I'm just, like, being slow about it and stuff. <laughs> and he kind of, like, runs out there and, like, just, like, takes the lawnmower from me, and he's, like, you, you go ahead, like, you go inside. And I just look at him and I'm like, he could tell I'm like getting emotional, like I'm about to cry. And he starts crying and then we just kind of like hugged and he said he was sorry. But that was literally like the only moment where I remember we both kind of like understood like, yo, like we can't be doing this. Like, mm. let's take a step back here. Like, yeah. you're my dad. I'm your kid. Let's let's move on from this situation. And I would say from there, like my junior year, like it was more civil and stuff. Like he was always kind of wondering like what's what are you planning on doing? Because again, at Oak Forest High School, wasn't really great at school, wasn't really like too much into, you know, doing well in school or even thinking about college or anything like that. So right. at that point in time, he was just worried, like, what is my kid going to do? Like, what is he going to end up, you know, what path is he going to go down? Because he didn't see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel for me, you know, after high yeah. school and stuff. We had a lot of things. The things that drew us together was like the thing that draws all of my close friends together, which is like Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Um, what, when, when were you watching that as a kid? Like what? Oh dude, I was, <laughs> anime was, was it for me back in the day. I remember being eight years old, staying up, watching Toonami, watching Naruto. Yeah. That was like my first, Yeah, that was like one of the first moments. Like I'm a big music listener. I'm a big, uh, you know, media watcher, movies, TV. And that was the first show that really like drew me and that kind of like inspired me. Like, mm -hmm. Here's this kid, like, you know, just trying to, like, you know, prove everyone wrong. Like, you know, show that he is going to be the Hokage or whatever. Same with Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. Man. Like, trying to hit that next level. Like, trying to, you know, just keep getting better. You know, fuel, keep, fuel my childhood.